scientists have been pointing out as 5 to 12 for the last 40 years. What I think science should now do is build upon that understanding of these limits and show the potentials, show where we can actually create a world that is nourished and is also uh, economically viable. In the economy we have long waves of change and they are often related to changes in means of production, whether it's the steam engine or it's the emergence of uh, uh, ICT technologies, for instance. And every time, actually, th this system, this, uh, our capitalist economic system, needs these phases of what Schumpeter has called creative destruction. It needs to break with the way we organize it in order to create new potential for growth. Now, this is an interesting thought. Could it be that precisely the problems of capitalism and of our economy our way of living, namely that we ruin our natural environment, that that would give a new leash on life in the form of a green capitalism. Now that, that thinking is very much also now being discussed. I would say it's too early to tell in academic terms whether that can work, but it would give you a perspective where states know what to do, namely provide certainty and targets, where business knows what to do, namely provide the technologies and earn a lot. Financiers suddenly have business opportunities because you know there's trillions hanging in the bank without any return at the moment. And of course it would, most important of all, be orienting investment to our real needs.